What's up guys, Jeff here for Premium Aquatics and today we got a couple of ice cap products to take a look at. We have the Evo water pumps both in the 4000 and 2000 model uh, to give you an idea as to what you're working with with these pumps and to break it down for you real quick, uh, they have a number of different pumps in this line. As you can see here, go ahead pause that take a look at it. Uh, it's going to give you a good indication of how many gallons per hour versus head um, and what head is is the ability for the water or the pump to push the water up when this guy is the Evo 4000 you can get past 8.3 feet which is pretty impressive um, obviously the higher it goes up the less power you're gonna have uh, the less water flow you're gonna have going through the plumbing but for each different system that is out there you get a number of different pumps that could be the answer uh, so in relation to this list they have the Evo 400 700 1000 the 2000 and then we get the 3000 and the 4000 models the one thing that is important to mention anytime that you are talking about ice cap products is a quality or value product so here is the pump that's all you get in the box you get the pump it's not as big as I expected it to be I thought you were gonna have a much bigger pump um, for being able to push that uh, eight and a half feet up relatively small footprint so that's always a good thing so go ahead I won't make you guys listen to me struggle through this bag so let's go ahead and get that done all right, so we got that unbagged. So now we can kind of take a look at what we are working here with the Evo 4000. One thing that I noticed with the Evo right off the bat is you have this guard right here, which is going to uh, protect your critters from actually going or entering into the pump. Uh, you get a guard on there. It's going to protect the smallest of critters. Uh, you get some suction cups, which are pretty rugged and work very very well and you have this little gasket here that you can place on the pump and then you have your nozzle so the good thing about this nozzle is it gives you a couple different options as to what exactly what size of hose or pipe or plumbing or whatever how you go about hooking up your system um, can connect to you have two different fittings there a one inch and or three quarter inch hose to the pump itself and all you need to do to do that is put that little gasket down and place that down and then thread it on and in cases where I've used um, a larger hose you can cut that off uh, but I usually just leave it on there and make sure that fitting uh, has a good nice snug fit to it so uh, that is the Evo 4000 from ice cap um, again very simple in its design very simple in what you're getting and we talked about the head as far as uh, the gallons per hour and right here um, they use the same box for the 3000 but this guy max flow is going to give you a thousand gallons per hour we already talked about the max head which is eight and a half feet and the wattage for this pump is 72 watts so not using a tremendous amount of power it's going to keep uh, the tank from overheating and especially something to consider in these summer months so that is the 4000 now let's take a look at the oh, this isn't the they tricked me this is the evo should have looked at the box the evo 1000 uh, this guy has a max flow of 264 gallons a max head of 3.6 feet and uses only 15 watts um, tricked me I took a look at the box here uh, but they do use the same box for different models there so a little trickery ice cap I get it I get it all right again so not gonna make you suffer through the unbagging so let's hit the easy button all right so we have uh, the fitting very similar to the 4000 very small form factor good 
length of cord there, high quality power cord. Uh, very, very clean in its design. Good suction cups. I wonder if it slides off that. Sure does. Comes right off that base. That's something that we didn't look at with the 4000. So it comes right off that base, easy to clean. Very, very simple in its design. Um, and again, for our only 15 watts, the ability to move how many gallons per hour? 264, that's pretty good. I've always been of the mindset of having a smaller return pump and allowing that water in the sump to really kind of just go through the filtration process. And what I try to avoid is just burning the water through the system. The skimmer hard, hardly has any time at all to be able to actually produce any skim mate. Uh, there's very little contact time with any of the filter media in there. Myself, I like to dial it back, have a smaller pump, and allow that water to slowly go through the sump. Uh, as far as the fittings here, you got a half inch uh, and a, I'm sorry, that's the half inch, and then the three fourths. So it's a step down in size from the 4000 as far as the hose barb goes. And again, little gasket. It goes in there like so. Place it down and then thread it on. And then you are in business. Simple design return pump uh, that's going to work for a lot of uh, medium size. I'm going to tighten that down a little bit. That's going to work for a number of medium size tanks. And this is also would be a really good uh, pump for mixing salt water depending on how you go about doing that. Um, also a great consideration for that. So if you guys want to take a look at the Evo lineup from Ice Cap, uh, there's going to be links in the description below which will bring you to premium products where you can do some more research or even pick one up for yourself.